Hey everyone, since I'm getting into GPU mining, I needed a power supply for my first rig. Now I could go the conventional way and just get a ATX power supply rated for 1200 watts, usually made for mining so it has all the PCIe uh, six ping power connectors onto it. But right now you're gonna pay almost $300 for something like that. And chances are it's only gonna be a gold rated power supply. It's not even gonna be platinum or titanium or unobtainium or whatever it is. So to save money on the rig and actually get more stability out of the unit, we're gonna switch from standard consumer ATX to server grade, server quality power supplies. And these are very popular lately. The uh, HP 1200 and 2400 watt power supplies. These come from old servers that are usually sitting in data centers that have been decommissioned. And you can pick up the power supply itself for anywhere between 20 to $50 on eBay or whichever. And these are, if I can focus here correctly, there we go, 1200 watts, 94% efficient. So these are platinum rated power supplies. Now these power supplies will work on either 120 volts or 240 volts. The problem is though, it's really made for 240 volts because that's when you get your full performance and efficiency out of this unit. Because when you run it at 240 volts, you will get the full 1200 watts out of it. But you can run it on 120, but you're only gonna get 900 watts out of it. And once you start putting a load on this on 120, the fan, starts blowing like a little jet engine because it's not running as efficiently on 120. You put it on 240, it's great. I will demonstrate that later. Now, I bought this kit from Parallel Mining. It starts at $104 for the whole thing. And most of the money is actually in this breakout board because it's not just a six pin PCIe. They also have like 10 fan headers on here which run at 100%. They also have a built-in Pico PSU that's able to pull up to 180 watts. Not that you would normally do that on a mining rig, but the Pico PSU is built into it. You have your 24 pin ATX. It has a breakout, this one, this Molex, they give you that also breaks out to another Molex or a SATA connector. So this way you can power your SSD for your mining rig. This does not get plugged into your graphics cards. You will overload the whole thing and blow it up. Comes with a regular DC voltage output, your power on and off button, and three LEDs. One to say that the power supply is connected to AC power, one to say that the 12 volts is currently on here, and then a nice blue LED saying that the motherboard is actually on. Now, they do have an extra four, two four pin headers and a Molex over here. I believe this is for if you're gonna daisy chain off to more and more power supplies. This way you can turn them all on in one shot. I haven't messed with that functionality at all, but it's real simple. It literally is a card edge connect and just shoves right in there. So let's go ahead and put this on my mining rig and we'll get some readings on it at 120 volts and 240 volts. Okay, so I have the power supply and the breakout all connected to my mining rig here. So we should pull around 650 watts on this unit. So let's go ahead See right now on 110 volts with it completely off, just plugged in 1.8 watts. And all we have right now is the amber light saying that the power supply does have power. So we're gonna hit the power button here, turn everything on. You can see we now have a green light saying that the 12 volts is actually on and the blue light saying the motherboard is on and you just heard it beep. So let's give it a minute and let it power on and warm up and we'll come on back. Okay, we are fully hashing. You can see we're at about 642 watts on 120 volts DC. I'm not sure if my lavalier mic will pick it up yet, but this thing is going crazy. So I'm gonna bring my microphone over to it. About that far away. And that's how loud it really is. Okay, so now that we know this power supply is really loud at only 640 watts, on 120 volts. Let's turn it off and switch it over to 240 volts and see what it does. Okay, so we are back now on 240 volts. And as you can see, we're pulling 639, 640 watts. 
We only saved actually maybe two or three watts by switching from 120 to 240, but the power supply is running so much more efficiently now. It's not nearly as warm, although I didn't say it was hot last time, but more importantly, the fan is nice and quiet. Let me take my lavalier over here again. You can barely hear it. You can actually hear me quite easily now on my lavalier over there without having too much of a problem. So let me clip back on here. You can see we're fully powered up. I'm not sure if you can read it right there at this angle, but it is 12 volts even, 12.0. When the unit's off, there is a little bit of a voltage sag when you turn on and you put about 650 watts on here, because when everything's off, but the power, power supply is on, I will get 12.2 volts out of here. So there is a little bit of voltage sag, but 12 volts is actually perfect. So there you have it with this server grade power supply and breakout from Parallel Miner. Mind you, I paid for this with my own money. I was not sponsored at all. I just found this to be the best deal to save the most amount of money building a mining rig rather than buying a standard consumer grade ATX power supply. Even if all the prices weren't going crazy right now, this will probably still be the cheaper bet considering it starts at $104 and they can go up if... Ow! That was nice. <laughs> if you add on the six pin wires, you can buy these and save a little bit of money with it. Focus. Thank you. But yeah, you can save a little bit of money if you buy these in bulk with this unit, but the unit itself starts at $104. I will have a link to it down in the description below. Comments down below, please. Thumbs up, and I will see you next time.